Okay, time to get all these clothes and get to cooking. Hey guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to be cooking stuffed bell peppers today. Uh, this is the part two of uh, these videos. I had the part one, I had to continue it because I harvested the... Uh, you got to watch it. If you haven't saw it, I harvested all the ingredients from my backyard. All of them, okay? Uh, even the deer sausage. So, if you haven't watched it... I usually watch movies from the beginning, so I usually watch that one first, and then I would watch this one. But if you want to watch this one, how to cook stuffed bell peppers, you can, and then go back and watch that one. Uh, I would put it in the descriptions below, and I will put it at the end of the video, of this video. I'll put it at the end, so you can just click on that. Trying to make it easy for you, okay? You're welcome. But uh, I also cook, this is just a regular stuffed bell peppers. It's rice, onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, and deer sausage. So it is a little bit a little bit fancier with deer sausage. But uh, I re regularly um, use Italian sauces. I like the fattiness of that. It makes it taste a lot better. Uh, oh, and I put cheese in it. But I also do uh, Philly steak and cheese ones. I do um, lasagna, stuffed bell peppers. There's all different kinds you can make, but this is just the typical ones I usually make. So, like I said, uh, it's a real treat if you see the other video. If you haven't saw it, I give it three thumbs up if I had three thumbs. But I'm going to give it two, okay? Uh, hope you like it. Thank you. Hey, uh, what I want to do here, um, I'm not trying to rush this. I wanted to put a cooking video out. Uh, I got everything set out here. I'm going to uh, go to Springfield, Illinois here. I'm picking the rental car up uh, this evening, but I got two free pizzas I get a month from Chiapas in Lebanon, uh, uh, the two uh, different uh, videos I had made. Uh, so I get two free pizzas. I have to use them by the end of the month. So tomorrow's the end of the month. I'm going down, so I'm gonna be my buddy that has the pond and the bees. If you saw the bee video, uh, Mike, uh, we're gonna go eat uh, pizza at Chiapas. Uh, so I'm going to cook this, get this video out, see how you guys like it. Uh, suggestions and comments, uh, much appreciated below. Uh, can't do what everybody uh, likes, but I'm going to try to uh, do a little cooking right now. Uh, it's going to be more detailed probably later, but I want to get something out there now. And uh, Fridays, like I said, except live. Live videos might be some eating in it, might not. Uh, but... I'm going to go ahead and do the stuffed bell peppers. And another disclaimer, I didn't get all this from my garden. Well, I got it from my garden, but it didn't grow out of my garden. And hopefully, by any chance, you thought that. My bad. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. Usually, I put a sausage in my uh, just regular uh Italian sausage in my stuffed bell peppers because I like the fattiness of it. I got this uh, and I'm going to put that in there because it went with a skit that I wanted to do in the backyard and I got crazy stuff that goes on my mind every now and then. So let's get to the cooking. Forget about it. What I'm going to do first uh, are the stuffed bell peppers. Uh, these I'm going to go ahead and chop up first because uh, I'm going to cut it up and Cut the top off, I'm going to hollow it out, uh, and I'm going to put it in a bowl of hot water in the microwave for like 12 to 15 minutes. So while I'm doing this first, I can prep everything else, but I want to get this going because it's going to be like uh, at least 15 minutes probably. So I'll get these chopped up. I have two separate cutting boards too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the top of here. I'm going to go ahead and cut these. I have this cutting board for vegetables, the big one. Uh, the smaller one I use for meats, um, because meat costs a lot of money. Don't need a giant cutting board because I don't like spending money, so I don't usually have a ginormous amount of uh, meat there. So that's going to go for that, and you don't want to do cross-contamination, so you want to wash your hands a lot after you touch each one. So I'm going to do this one first. I guess 
I can talk while I do it so I don't have to spend more time. I, I, some people say my videos are way too long. So, I'm about to go to Springfield, Illinois. Uh, I, I was looking around for a hot dog contest before my 4th July one. So, by the time you see this, I will already be there. But uh, I'm going to Springfield, Illinois. It's a Special Olympics. Uh, what's going to happen there is uh, I think I was kind of late to register. But I didn't. I wasn't wanting to win first place. Oh, I, I want to win first place, but I don't want to take away from the hometown crowd. So I'm going to go ahead and give whatever gift card or whatever for first place. I'm going to give it to the would-be first place person if I win. There might be somebody there who can beat me. Uh, I'm not the fastest in the world. Uh, I do my best. But they got a belt. I like belts too. I like. That's what she said. But uh. I have one belt that I have uh, that I got the taco contest in, where was that at? Well, I'm trying to do this video and it's saying I need an Android update. Okay. But, I got a taco, I got a belt from there, uh, and, but this belt, it's not a real big belt anyway, but I'm gonna give it to somebody that's in the Special Olympics. So, whoever's there is gonna win the belt if I win. Hopefully, if I get beat and somebody else wins, they can give the belt to one of them too. But I just wanna do that, and then as soon as I, as soon as I um, do that contest, I'm gonna to go to Fort July uh, in Jefferson City. It's uh, 23 hot dogs last year that I did. So hopefully, I, I'm hoping, I want to do like 35 or 10 minutes, at least. But we'll see. Uh, but I'll be going to the Ozarks on the 6th. That's where my cousin uh, lives at, and he works at Old Kinderhook. Uh, they do a lot for the community, and uh, I'm going to go there and just have a good time. There's, there's supposed to be some like new screw there, maybe, and some um, and like three to 4,000 people. And again, by the time you see this video, I guess it will be on the 6th. So today, I will be eating hot dogs. Kind of weird to talk about it when I'm not even there and I gotta talk in the future tense. It gets crazy, okay? So if I mess up on this video of any dates or anything, sorry, not good on dates. Throwing all that in the uh, extra sink, all the trash. Okay, I got one more to go. I just cut, um, I've been talking, but I just cut the top off. Get all the seeds out in the membrane inside the veins. It's kind of bitter in the, the veins of it. Smack it down, smack it down like so. Then I fill fill the bowl up with water. Put the bell peppers in there. Yeah, doing the best of what I got. Like I said, kind of like sex. And what you want to do, what you're doing here is softening these up so they're not real hard. If you like them hard, then don't even do this. Skip this step. But I like to soften the outside of the bell pepper up a little bit. So heat that for 15 minutes and then get back. Get back to the rest. And the tops, the tops, what I do with the tops, I'll just chop those up. And there's a lot of tips and stuff that I'll just say and not think they're tips because I'm used to it. But when you're when you're doing the knife and you're rocking the knife, they call it, uh, instead of, it's kind of hard to show you like this, one-handed. But instead of uh, chopping like this, it dulls the knife real quick. What you want to do, that's why there's a bevel on the end of this knife like that. So it rocks down like that. So what you do is leave this tip down. See that? Leave that tip down and just rock it. Don't be doing this because you're building your knife a lot. 
You won't have to shop as much if you do this. I know there's going to be a lot of camera angles in this because I'm trying to hide the imperfections of me uh, holding the other phone and trying to show you. And number one, number one tip I can give you now is don't cut your finger off. Number one tip is don't cut your finger off, okay? That's a little red uh, sauce in there, I mean, but if you run out of tomato sauce, I guess if that's, what, that's what you're into. After I chop the tops, I'm going to go ahead and heat that water up for... What's next? Okay, four cups of water. I will add in two cups of rice when the water boils. You want to wait till the water boils for that. My secret ingredient for this is going to be, I'll let you wait for it, suspense. But I don't usually, uh, this is, I say butter, but it's it's fake stuff, okay? I get it for like 70 cents, 50 cents on sale. Like a dollar usually, but I get it for 50 cents to 70 cents on sale. So, whole stick. I know it costs like two tablespoons or something. But, I'm not conventional. I never met a calorie I did not like. I like different, I like different textures. So, some of this, some of this here, I'm going to put uh, half of it in the rice and half of it out of the rice so I have different textures. I want some soft, some crunchy. Uh, just, just what I like to do. Okay, that's about out of bowl. What I do is 15 minutes. What I do is 15 minutes. Um, I wish I had a camera in front of the stove, but I'll have much room up there. But it's starting to bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and put all my rice in, there's two cups to four cups of water with a whole stick of fake butter. Then I gotta chop my onions up while I'm at it. Um, I put the rice in, I'm gonna put... Oh, that's another See, I got a lot of this. So... I'm not going to do the name brand, but it's bouillon. It's that big powdered bouillon. And for that, I'll put like a, a big heap in there. And that's a heap. That, that big spoon there, just mound it up. Set my timer for 15 minutes. Cut that down. I put uh, garlic powder, a little garlic powder in there. Uh, crushed pepper. I like a little uh, Worcestershire, Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce. However you want to spell it, I don't care. Or say it. How you want to say it, I don't care. Worcestershire or Worcestershire. It's Worcestershire, but you say that three times fast. Yeah, I knew you tried it. When I bake, I, I, I use... Uh, oh. When I bake, I use the precise, precise measuring. 
But when I, when I cook, when I cook, I don't use precise measuring. I just put dabs and dabs and stuff in there. Uh, in my nonstick pans, I do not use metal. So I use plastic or I use the wooden spoons. I prefer the wooden spoons. Have all that ready to go. Put that on simmer and it's good to go. Got all my cheese. I'm gonna chop up my onions. Almost forgot to add uh, my peppers in there. Now I'm gonna chop up an onion real quick and put that in there. Over here. Want to go too fast? I want to keep all my digits. Okay, have all that done. I have my mushrooms. And with the mushrooms, I'm just gonna chop them up. Okay, I'm not trying to do it too fine or nothing. My daughter likes mushrooms, so she doesn't care about chunks of that in there. Same thing with this, I'm putting a little bit in my rice. Stir it up a little bit. The rest of it, yep, going in with the others. A little veggie party. Okay, got my tomatoes here. I got different styles of tomatoes. I'm just prepping it and getting this ready. So when the rice is done, I can just go ahead and add it to it. If it's too much, I'll just see the consistency once I uh, start stirring and I don't have to add all of it. But it's kind of like just, you know, to taste and uh, the texture. So whatever floats your boat. It's no precise science. So I always put a little bit of EVOO extra virgin olive oil in my uh, pan. Especially it's lean too, so I don't want to burn the meat. But I'm only going to do a little bit of this meat and um, brown it up. For you people that have to hit the microwave before the one second, before the beep, before it hits zero, and jump across. It's not going to kill you, okay? It's just a beep. No! not going to explode or anything like that so it's not nothing like that okay look I'll even show you nothing bad will happen This is very, very hot. So, look, and I already lied to about cross contamination. Now I gotta clean that before I even put a vegetable back on it. Let me wrap this up and cook that. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's just uh, Sometimes I forget and uh, I just have to go back and clean it. No big deal. But you want to make sure you don't do cross contamination because you can get illnesses and uh, if you don't cook all the vegetables and everything afterwards, it be a problem. You don't want to do that. 
Okay, I'm done with this. I'm gonna cook this. Got five more minutes on my rice. The peppers are out. I'll wash all this up later, but I'm just trying to rinse it off, get it out of my way. Now, pans. I use for my banana breads a lot, my loaf pans. And these work great when you're trying to do stuffed bell peppers. You try to do stuffed bell peppers. Three of these fit, about three of them fit in each one. So I'll go ahead and put those in here now. Try to get the right sizes so they all fit. Uh, some of them's bigger than others. Look at that, all in. Bam. Got both of them done. Break some cheese. Everything's working okay. I got all my bell peppers ready to go. It's about a, another minute for the rice. It's not minute rice, but I got one more minute left. Uh, took my rice 15 minutes, put beef bouillon in there, some soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce. Yes, I'm a professional at saying Worcestershire. I'll say it all the time Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. So I was lying, didn't you? And you just tried it again. Yeah, I'm psychic, but I don't charge you, okay? I will not charge you for this. And, you guys, I do have an OCD with dishes, and that really bothers me to have those in there. Usually when I'm cooking, I clean, cook, or whatever, but I can't do the cameras, cook, clean. Rice is done. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> what you want to do, turn it off, take it off the heat for five minutes, <clears throat> give you a better view, but five more minutes, <clears throat> and it'll be uh, good to go, your sausage is getting there, I'm going to turn it off, it's going to, the residual heat in there is going to cook the rest of that pink out, I don't need it all the way dry, 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 it's already dead once. I don't need to kill it twice. I do like a little crust on the meat a little bit, a little brownish. Uh, but see that little pink? That's okay. It ain't gonna kill you. I like it like that. I like it pink in the middle. Hey, uh, this is a PG channel. Okay, I'm gonna toss, toss everything in this pot. I want all the rotel. I want all this rotel in there, okay? Uh, you don't have to do that name, Brian. You can do a cheaper one, but I got this on sale. And usually anything I show you, I caught on sale. But I'm gonna put all that in there because that has different spices that I like. And this is Hunt's. This is a better brand. I 
I'll save that for crackers or something. I got one, two, three, four, five. I need one more, one more slice of cheese. And I like Velveeta, even though people say that's not cheese, it's processed. But I like Velveeta, okay? And all you want to do is fill these up. Right now I'm going to set pre my oven to 350. It doesn't look pretty right now, okay? I like the different color bell peppers, but they're not on sale, so guess what? Ain't getting it. And then I get a piece of cheese. Put them on each one, like so. always make too much of this and every time I say I'm not so I'm going down to a half of this next time if I'm only doing six I'll just do two cups of water and one cup of rice one cup of rice well, that's way too much I can do probably 12 12 with this say 20 minutes and we'll check it out hey the other cooking videos I might have some more time to uh, to do a little a little bit different but just put it in the comments what I should and shouldn't do and maybe not even have a YouTube channel might be a comment but I might disregard that one okay in advance sorry but when I'm what all the people on the cooking shows do, as soon as they cook the food and they put it in their mouth, I don't even think their taste buds even have a, a chance to react yet. As soon as they put it in their mouth, they go, man, this is great. You're never gonna see somebody do what I do when I taste mine, okay? But I'm just playing because I cooked it. I'm definitely gonna say it's great, it's the best. But you're not gonna grab it and be like, Okay. No. It doesn't work like that. Okay. But uh, there's another tip. When you're cooking and your kids don't like food, like certain foods, let them cook it with you and they're more receptive to eat it because they're proud of what they've done. So, if they don't like broccoli, have them cook some broccoli with you. Maybe some broccoli, rice casserole, or something with cheese on it, maybe. But, uh, have them help you cook it, and they're more receptacle to receptacle, receptacle, whatever. Okay, these look about done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the broiler on to broil the tops. And do not forget that that is on because I do that with my gooey butter case because I have to do that to the tops. So I'll set a timer for two minutes. When that goes off, good to go. Okay, the roller's been on. I set it for another two more minutes, so I did it for four minutes. Okay, finished product.
Yeah, and you're wondering why I was sweating uh, because usually I don't cook like this in the summertime because I got to run the heat and I, I mean run the air conditioner. I don't like running the air conditioner a lot, so it's going to be a little hot in here. Uh, I'm going to do more cooking videos, but it's going to be in the late fall, winter time, okay? So I can heat the house while I cook and the heater doesn't come on as much. So that's how I work. Hey, I have shirts here. Get them while they last. I have them anywhere from medium to 5X for only $20 a piece. Please get with me before you order. Uh, make sure I have your uh, size and stock and descriptions. There's payment options. Just check them out. Thank you. All right, please subscribe to my page. Click the notification bell on the right so you can get notified of recent uploads. Like the video. Go ahead and share it if you can. And I appreciate it. Have a great day unless you made other plans.